You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, and Greg Garrett. This is Key Budge. Welcome to To Hatch a Pod. Greg Garrett and Corey Costello can't join me today because I went out on my own, interviewed some folks, and I didn't want to hold it and wait for them. <laughs> uh, Ashley Whitmore, the To Hatch a Bee's airport manager, said, Key, we've got a new build a plane program going on at the airport, summer hours, and there's some new kids involved. It'd be great to come out and, and meet everybody. So I went out and talked with Tim McGuire from the Tehachapi Society of Pilots, talked to him about the program, and I'll have that interview in just a few minutes. But I didn't want to hold it and wait for getting together with the guys next week. I thought, let's let's get it out to you right now because the program is looking for kids. So there might be some of you that uh, have got some teenage kids that are in their high school age group that might be looking for something to do this summer this program might be just it if they're mechanically inclined or they just have an interest in engineering or aviation or they're curious about it this is a pretty cool program so the build a plane program here in Tehachapi is put together and hosted by the Tehachapi Society of Pilots and these gentlemen and uh, and women there could be women a part of the the group I'm not sure but the this group the Tehachapi Society of Pilots are a lot of retired aviators or engineers, mechanics in the aviation field, and they bring that expertise and experience into this hangar, and they teach high school-aged kids all about building a plane, and they've got these build-a-plane projects, and it doesn't cost these students a penny. These is, this is all donated materials, and they build a plane that's actually going to fly, and they actually ran it, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll show you what it sounds like. Uh, it's pretty incredible what they do out in this hangar at the Tehachapi Airport. But, but again, it's the Tehachapi Build-A-Plane program. Paul Knapsiger is the gentleman who runs the program, but Tim McGuire was who I talked to today, and I, I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get right to this conversation with Tim. Tim, tell me a little bit about the Build a Plane program and why it's important that we reach out to our youth here in Tehachapi. I'd say the most important thing is to fill the hole in our education system since our our local schools don't have shop class anymore. So we have boys and girls, well, men and and women come uh, high school age that basically don't know how to use a screwdriver. And by the time they're done with the program, they can build things. They have skills, life skills. I know I've been here in the past. I got a chance to talk to some of the the young people that have been involved. And they have aspirations of moving on to to staying in the aviation field. What's been, and I just came in for just a a glimpse of of what they experienced. What what has your takeaway been and what have you seen from some of these former students? It builds interest in, uh, in aviation. In mechanics, we have uh, two of our, in fact, two of our female students are in college right now uh, with aspirations to have their uh, their uh, aerospace engineering uh, degrees. As far as our pilot community, the aviators we have here in Tehachapi, what's that response been like? Because without the mentors, this doesn't happen. It's been grand. We have mostly people that are from aerospace 20, 30, 40 years experience working with, with all the commercial big companies, and they bring some skills that, uh, that they just want to share. Their retirement age, a whole bunch of gray beards in here. So I like, I like to say we probably got 200 uh, years worth of experience in this hangar. And that experience is just waiting to be passed on to that next generation? Precisely, yes. So if there are maybe some parents of teens that, that are looking or are mechanically inclined or they're not sure um, you know, what they would like to do in the future, or if there are kids that have heard the podcast and said, hey, I want to get involved, how would they do that? Uh, contact Paul Nafziger. Uh, we've also got a... Uh, a Facebook page. It's Tehachapi Build a Plane, and you can get information and some history of this airplane coming together. It's got about two and a half years worth of worth of history to look through. And how many projects have you guys been working on uh, since the inception? Uh, right now, we have uh, two uh, airplanes going. We're just finishing up on this uh, Zenith Light Sport. Uh, it's a, a 750 cruiser, and we also have a uh, RV10 
that uh, one of our local uh, commercial operators is uh, uh, looking for some help getting it together. So it'll be a private plane from him. Let's see here at Technical Services. Anything else, that you, any other message you'd like to send out, whether it's the parents listening or the kids? If you're in, into learning about mechanics and electrical and all the, all the different skills involved in building something, uh, and your high school age, uh, give us a call. Let's talk a little bit more about the Build-A-Plane program and kind of the, the basic, the nuances. It's volunteers. This is a, a nonprofit group. Yeah, it's a no cost to the students or parents. Uh, it's supported uh, completely by donations. The uh, Tehachapi Society of Pilots uh, is the main organization that uh, covers us. It's a 501c3 uh, program, so donations are tax deductible. Are you looking for more volunteers other than the pilot community? Um, we're looking for uh, new volunteers. A lot of our volunteers that have been building this uh, current airplane have been at it for two and a half years. And I'm imagining that there'll be some uh, uh, some rotation needed. Yeah, I, I would imagine that fresh sets of eyes and hands and and the uh, the energy that gets involved gets infused into the entire program when you get new people involved. Yes, I, I would imagine, and we can uh, can always use new skills. Can't imagine what those might be, but when they come, we'll know. So, I think when you look at this entire group, every time I come, I, I get to meet someone different. And everyone has, like you said, a different skill set, or they bring something to to add to you know, the enhancement of what these young people are learning. Yes, yeah, we've got uh, skills that come from uh, project management and uh, people that, that come from the manufacturing floor that have uh, hands-on sorts of sorts of skills. Um, we have a, a test pilot involved. We have a, a quality inspector. Uh, very senior uh, quality inspector guy. Uh, lots of really deep, diverse skills to be taught. Learning about mechanics and electrical and all the all the different skills involved in building something. Uh, and your high school age, uh, give us a call. Thank you. Thank you. That was my conversation with Tim McGuire from the Tehachapi Society of Pilots and the Tehachapi Build-A-Plane Program out at Tehachapi Municipal Airport. If you'd like to become involved in the program, either as a student or as a volunteer, you can get more information at TehachapiSocietyOfPilots.org or you can go to the Facebook page, Tehachapi Build-A-Plane. And the information is there if you'd like to reach out. The students are meeting on Mondays and Thursdays during the summer from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So they're spending that time in working on the aircraft, getting it ready so that way it'll get its test flight sometime soon. But it's a great program. The kids are getting, just sitting back watching, you're watching the kids interact with each other. They're interacting with their mentors. They're showing them how to use the tools necessary to build a plane. I mean, it's hands-on building a plane. It's really, really cool. So again, check it out. You, and there's lots of photos on both the Tehachapi Build a Plane Facebook page, TehachapiSocietyOfPilots.org. They've got a great photo gallery. You get more information and uh, reach out to Paul Nafziger and he will uh, be more than happy to provide any information that you need. And we appreciate your time here on Tehachapod. We're looking for more show ideas. If you've got a show idea, send it to us via email at media at TehachapiCityHall.com. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, I think as we uh, end today's episode, let's uh, hear a little bit of that engine from the plane that's being built by the students. This is the actual sound from the engine of the plane being built by the Tehachapi Build-A-Plane program. And we appreciate your time here on Tehachapod. We'll catch you on a future episode. Thank you for joining us. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi designed for the people who live here or who would like to know more about this mountaintop community. If you have a question you would like answered, email media at TehachapiCityHall.com. We will try to answer it on a future episode of Tehachapod.